good, everybody? It's Cashflow Nexus back with some XRP and crypto analysis. Give you the latest and greatest updates on XRP and cryptos. So what's good, everybody? Uh, I'm excited today. I uh, hit a thousand subscribers. <laughs> Big milestone in this uh, YouTube world, whatever you want to call it. But uh, man, I'm excited. I, I have big things that I'm working on for you guys. I'm going to be putting out vlogs soon. You know, just to start picking things up, so you could, so you could, got, so you guys and girls could see like my personal life and uh, how I think about things and what I look at in life. You might learn some new things about me if you don't already know some things about me. So I appreciate you guys, ladies and gentlemen, that uh, subscribe to my channel. If you are new to my channel, like this video uh, and subscribe and welcome to my channel. I appreciate you guys. Other than that, uh, I like to jump right into the video. Uh, I always start off with scripture. If you're new to my channel, I always like to give God his credit and his, give him his glory. So I'm going to start off with what Jehovah Rapha means. It means the Lord that healeth thee. And it, it says in Exodus. 15 and 26 reads and said if thou wilt diligently hearken to the voice of the lord thy god and will do that which is right in his sight and will give ear to his commandments and keep all his statutes i will put none of these diseases upon thee which i have brought upon the egyptians for i am the lord that healeth thee so pretty much he's saying if you hear his voice and you abide by his commandments and you give ear to it and do what's right in his sight he will heal you he will keep you safe from anything that's going to harm you and the thing is people that are there's a lot of people in the world that are hurting and dif different things there's no pay pain that's too great god can't heal whether you're suffering from heartbreak depression loneliness loss of a loved one mental damage it doesn't matter what it is I believe my God could heal you from anything because he says so in his word. And if you really believe his word and you really have faith, because the only way you could even move God and even please God is by having faith. Without faith, you can't even please God. And you have to come through him, through his son, Jesus Christ. So that's what I wanted to say to you guys. I wanted to get that out there before I start the analysis video because that's how I do things. So let's, without further ado, let's jump right into the analysis, guys. All right. So I did say October 17th, we will make a move. So now we are sitting at the day before October 17th, you guys. So price is trying to push its way down, which I understand. I've been seeing that. I've been watching that very carefully. So the reason why I, I expect been expecting price to move up a long time ago I had this wedge drawn up on the uh on the daily time frame you know just to get an idea of what the market was going to do if you know what a descending wedge is it's a falling pattern where the market goes down a certain amount of time it starts to get thinner and thinner like you see in here and eventually price is going to burst out of that out of that uh, tight space that you see in here, how it got all tight in here. So now price is making its way up. As you see here, we had that breakout right here. Ooh, then it went too close. <laughs> so we had that breakout right here, and now we may be coming back down to test around these levels. Hopefully we could sustain here, which it looks like we are because we're wicking a little bit, but hopefully we could sustain this area and push even higher because we do have our bullish tk cross still we have the bullish divergence on the daily time frame so i'm expecting price to move up even higher tomorrow so we, we might just hold here at this level and then continue our upward trend to 30 cents so tomorrow i'm expecting 30 cents that's just me uh i don't say that to be you no know, give hype I'm saying this because that's what I see in the market. We can move lower to even lower from this point, you know, come back down and test this area and hold here. 
because this was where we broke out. So we could have come back and test around here to see if we could keep this and then move up to the upside tomorrow back to 30 cent and higher. And I think it'll be like an explosion to the upside if we do hold really well down at this level here. So I am expecting that. Uh, we are starting to get a Kumo twist uh, and clouds are starting to get thin. So that means bears are dying out in this daily time frame, which is a good sign for a good time for the bulls. All right, moving down to the four hour. We're still in this channel. Right now we are at a support. So we're testing this level here as a support. And I think if we could hold this level and keep it strong, we'll bounce up and go even higher to the upside. Uh, I want to see what happens with this candle. I'm very interested because if we could hold here, we could potentially get a, let's see, a N wave pattern. So I'll draw that up for you guys because I see these things pretty quickly. Let's see. Hopefully we get this uh, candle turns into a fractal right here. If we could get a fractal uh, at this candle, then we could move even higher. And for a potential in wave pattern. So this is what I would have here. Taking us past the 30 cent level, if we could hold here. So I, I like this scenario because we don't have a, a bearish cloud. We're still moving up even higher. So I like to see us hold this level currently. And if we could hold this level currently, and move up higher, like get a bounce up here and test this level. If we could break this level, because this is A, B, C, and this would be D, if we could get past this B level. So we have to go from A, B, C, and then if we can't break here, I'm expecting price to come back down and then take off, or I'm expecting price to come down here, then take off and break through this B level. So that's what I'm waiting for right now. That's what I'm seeing in the market. Uh, if we go down even lower, let's go to the two-hour time frame. Let's see what's going on. We are holding here, so that's a good sign. I don't see no bearish cloud. So we could bounce from this level, get a Kumo bounce at the so as a support to this end here, and then move up higher. We got a... Uh, hammer right here so we price may want to go up soon uh, looking at it at the 30 minute time frame let's take a look uh oh it's a little messy here <laughs> let me clean it up a little bit uh, let's see all right here we go gotta go ahead and delete that so we have this channel coming down here right now currently and price is breaking holding this level pretty strong which was the support on that two hour time frame so if we could hold here to what like we're doing we could move up higher i do like what i see here which i see uh tinkinson starting to angle up to the upside and kijinson's flat so prices out of uh it prices in this disequilibrium so we may see price move up higher from this point and this could be a potential, uh, you know, a potential double bottom as well. If we could go lower and then come back up. So I do see the cloud also starting to round. You see here that it's starting to round out right here. So we might get uh, prices to push back higher from this point. So I might actually add a buying position here. So we'll see what happens. So without further ado, I hope you guys enjoyed this analysis video. Comment and subscribe your thoughts. Tell me what you think. And if you want to become a student, don't be afraid to DM me on Twitter and we could talk about being a student to the clouds. <laughs> All right. God bless you guys. Hope you enjoyed this video and stay tuned for the next. Peace.